Hello friends, in this video I am going to give you a brief introduction about Capel and Capel browser. So what Capel basically is, it is a CAM accessible programming language. So that means it is a programming language which has access to your CAM network. So using Capel what you can do is you can test, you can do the diagnostics, you can do analysis, you can do logging, that is uh, your can logging and you can also simulate a node or or it can be used as a functional gateway between two channels that is two can networks so to do your capital programming you what you need is a capital browser so by using capital browser it will be easier to do capital programming you can also do programming in normal notepad but it will be a little harder to compile and put it in a, a simulation node so to to do a better capital programming it should be done by capital browser so first thing i'll show you is how you can open capital browser so to open capital browser you have to go to this canoe or canalizer tool whatever tool you, you have so I am having Canoe, so I'm opening Canoe tool. So it takes a little a time depending on your configuration to open Canoe tool. So I'm just opening my Canoe tool. So as you can see, our Canoe tool is open. So I'll just say OK to this pop-up and since i don't have license for canoe so i am saying okay if you have license canoe then it will not give you this pop up so i'll just say okay to this so to open capital browser what you have to do is you have to go to tools and then you will see here capital browser so that you need to open but before opening that you need to add a database to your canoe configuration so the database will be uh, automatically accessible to your uh, Capel uh, browser. So if you are not having any database and you are doing it on your own, so that in for that uh, scenario you have to write your database also. But since I am having my database, so I am going to add my database into my simulation setup. So you have to go to simulation then simulation setup then i am going to do the programming for can network so i'm opening this can network then can and then in this database i have to add my database so i'll just open it then i'll go to my work folder then i'll go to my temp and I'll go here testing and then you will see that temporary database is here so I, I'm adding that database so if you are planning to do capital programming the first thing what you should do is add your database here if you are not having database still you can do uh, capital programming and after that is done you can add your database so I'm, since I've added the database here I'm going to open my capital browser so once it is open you will see this kind of UI so what can capital basically is it is a event driven programming language so that is event driven means if uh, some event happens at that time it the code which you have written will be will run so that means uh, there are three types of event are there mainly so it is a the first type is timer event, the second type is IO event and the third one is CAN communication event. So the first type you will see here is this kind of events. So these events are like uh, timer events and system events. So that is pre-start, on start, on pre-stop, stop measurement, on timer, on key, on start. So whatever events are there you will see on before that. That means on happening of this thing you should do that on happening of timer uh, you should do this 
on on keystroke that is uh, if i'm uh, uh, pressing one key on key press uh, something should happen so it is like that and this start and uh, pre-start pre-stop is uh, that is when you're starting your capel browser uh, when you're running your capel script at that time before starting the script run running uh, it should do uh, pre-start and after it starts just after it starts it should do start and before it stops it should do this pre-stop method so how you can add method and all that i'll tell you in next video so here you will just see what uh, are the events are there so these are the signal events that is signal on signal this on signal on signal variable and then after we'll see can events that is on message on error frame on bus off on error active on error passive on uh, warning limits so these are all are self-explanatory that that is when if you have a little bit of knowledge about can so on message on receiving some message this uh, thing will happen so i'll just give you a brief like how uh, this will be so if i click on that then one message will be added here and i have to write what uh, what should happen on this message receiving uh, that i have to write it here and on systems also i will give you a brief one like on timer expiration uh, this should happen like that whatever uh, we want to happen uh, that we have to write in this curly braces and on key so if i press some key like for here i will put this as key one uh, so so if i press key one then whatever we need to we want to happen that we need to write in this curly brace so in the next video we will take one example uh, of some capital script in that video i'll explain you how uh, it should look like uh, on a basic level so thank you for watching this video and do watch the next video to get to know more about capital